the we missed the lunch. <laughs> we missed the live stream. Uh, hello everyone, welcome to the podcast that has no name yet. Uh, today, my name is Nicholas, and I have three other people joining us today for the first ever episode. Um, Isaac, why don't you introduce yourself? Yeah, um, hey, I'm Isaac. Uh, it's kind of epic to be here to on the nameless podcast and uh, I hope everything goes well and we have interesting talk I'm very self-conscious right. about that okay <laughs> uh, Marcus how about you um, I'm, well you just introduced my name you wrote you my <laughs> sunshine but I'm Marcus um, yeah that's it I'm here for the podcast ready all right uh, and Oscar, how about you? <laughs> oh boy! Uh, oh, yo, 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 what are YouTube? Is me, Papa G, for what's everybody? No, I'm All kidding. right, that's uh, cool. Yeah, um, I'm Oscar, and I, uh, and I, uh, I'm here for the for the podcast with no name. Fuck. Okay, okay, okay. Bringing out the meme, I like that. <laughs> yes, sir. All right. <laughs> So uh, we decided to do this podcast because, like, you know, we were bored. So, you know, all of us stuck here in quarantine. So we're doing the podcast through Zoom. And, uh, you know, we just wanted to do this try out and see if we like it. And if we do like it and if y'all like it, uh, maybe we could make this into a weekly thing or a monthly, whatever we, you know, whatever we come up with. I, I'd say yearly. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yearly. Sure. How about bi yearly? I, I think I'm busy next year. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. Bro. So uh how how y'all been during quarantine? What have y'all been doing? Um well for me I've been doing a lot of schoolwork, but I'm already finished, I already graduated, boy. Yes, oh. yes, yes. That's Congratulations on graduating. Let me get a, a pug in the comments. Yes. And then the and then and then F in the chat for having to go to college. Dang. Oh, well, what college do you want to go to? What do you want to study for? Well, I'm going to go to St. Jack. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I forgot you yeah. told me about that. We're about to be St. Yeah, Jack go. boys. Ah. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. Y'all still go, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Except you, you Marcus, Marcus. You already graduated. Um, or know, dropped I out. In college, I kind of... I did call, kind of a dropout, but we don't talk yeah. about that. <laughs> yeah, at least you're working, so that's good. Yes, I work. You got a job. You got a good job. Have to feed the wife, kids. You know how it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Your uh, your <laughs> wife Martha and your kids uh, Bobby and uh, Shelly. Why are they so, so white names? <laughs> yeah, I mean you gave them the name. I didn't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. You're right. <laughs> but uh, okay. Uh, what about you, Isaac? What have you been up to? Uh. uh um. Well, you know. Um. Uh. So what happened was I was trying to get a job. I, I, I was not going to do the semester of college. And, and then this happens. So I didn't get a job. And I didn't sign up for the semester. So I didn't have classes. So basically, I've had no um, secular obligations. <laughs> uh, so very, I've very just... Very big words. I've so I don't have any anything to do basically. This is I don't own society anything. Oh, so okay. basically, I've just been practicing the drums and the guitar and and doing Working. stuff I've been wanting to do Working for a while out. that I I didn't find time to do. Basically, we be riffing. Not gonna lie. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, <laughs> all I've been doing is pretty much the same thing. I've been. Uh, Working on a project. Uh, I'll leave it as a secret for now. I mean, it's a school project. It's a final project, oh. but I kind of like it. Oh. I was like, uh, Street Boys Volume 3? I was like, bro, already? <laughs> bro! <laughs> Can we? Okay, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a website. It's like it's for like a web design class. Ooh. So I'm working on a six-page website. It's, uh, it's not, it, you know, when you see it, it's not going to be nothing like too spectacular because, you know, it's my first time. Mm -hmm. Did you make but, it? But uh, mm -hmm. I'm just trying to work on that. No, not Squarespace. I, like I use like Dreamweaver. <laughs> I don't have money for Squarespace. He's got Squarespace. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, 
No, I've just been working on that website, and I it's uh, let's just say it has to do something with the uh, music, like that's a theme. Oh, and okay. uh, speculating already, but I'll be quiet. Yeah, I'll Sheepplays. Com. Yeah. Oh no, it's not. It's not. It's not. Nah. I wish, but it's not. It's like it's something like, similar because it's Chadco.com. What? Waterburger. Oh, 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 can we talk? Can we can we say what Chadco and Street Boys and all that is? Oh yeah, for those unaware, uh, Street Boys is a a band that I created. Um, the it's members a- are me, uh, a boo boy, uh, which and these um, boo boy is my brother, uh, and then uh, two other f- friends of mine named Ethan and Isaiah. So this is a band. Um, so far, Volume One has been, you know, released. So far, five oh, yeah. copies. Uh, nobody can see this, but Isaac is holding up oh. his, his version of the copy. Yeah, uh... of Street Boys. <laughs> yes, sir. I, I see it off Oscars. Forget it. <laughs> yeah, hold on. I keep hold it up so I can like uh, put it on the podcast when I go edit. When I edit this it. This is where I'll keep my Street Boys album if I had one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you have one. But don't worry, you'll get your copy. But I go. Uh, I- Honestly, I'd go as far as to say that Street Boys, it's not just a band. It's a it's a it's a way of life, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've heard. I had reviews say people say it's like it's an experience. Uh, yeah, 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 for sure. It has this thing inside. It's definitely I, an experience. I can say that. <laughs> yeah. I, like I want to say, I'm not part of Street Boys, but I would definitely say that with the impact that Street Boys has had on my life and with many people's lives. I go as far as to say that we can make it into a whole festival, yeah. like Street Boys Fest. Like that would definitely destroy Coachella. Hey, if you think about I'm, it. I'm sure. I'm sure. You know, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I think Street Boys is, uh, when it comes to light, it's gonna be more influential than the Beatles. Mm-hmm. Probably will be. It's gonna. Uh, yeah. I, I give it like two weeks. Sure. It's gonna. It's gonna redefine the music group genre. I we give like the Beatles too? a week. Before they get over, that, right? this, this yeah, yeah. I mean, the Beatles have no chance. I mean, once they beat the Sound SoundCloud boss, they in it. Oh, yeah, we're, we're in it. <laughs> we're in it. And soon, um, I'm trying to hopefully get it on Spotify. Uh, oh, I'll, really? Uh, okay. I'm trying to work on that. Um, I don't know when, okay. but uh, if it does, I'll let y'all know. But uh, yeah, Street Boys so far has six songs. Uh, the song list is. Uh, Houston State of Mind, Parking Spot, Broccoli, um, Dream, and uh, Tenders. Uh, and those are so far, the six songs. Uh, is our audience going to hear a little sneak peek, Nick? Oh, that's... Uh, <laughs> maybe if they tune in to the end of the podcast, maybe they'll so hear maybe something. To the end maybe. of the episode? Maybe. Yeah, to the end maybe. of the episode, maybe they could hear something. No timestamps. Like when yeah, no timestamps. They have to keep watching because if they do, yeah, they're just gonna no skip time, through. Yeah, no timestamps. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I mean that's pretty much what Street Boys is. It's just a band. Uh, so far, uh, we started on Volume Two recently, um, but you know, you know, with this whole uh, pandemic stuff and social distancing, I can't really work on Volume Two that much. But you know, we're going slowly, and uh, whenever we get. Uh, you know, close to finishing it, um, I'll make an announcement. But that's so far what Street Boys is, and uh, Chadco, uh, it's a, it's a it's a it's a fictional company. No, where, no, 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 it's a real company. It's a it's realist a company. It's, real in our it's a realist it's a company. corporation. It, it's bigger than um, uh, Disney. It, it's funded by Kim Jong Un himself, <laughs> and uh, he provides all the money. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna get the Koreans watching this. <laughs> uh, but yeah, <laughs> but that's what um, that's what the Chad Company is. It's a it's a it's a company created by me and uh, our uh, co-creator Isaac, who's uh, who's here. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's mm-hmm. a company that owns Street Boys. It owns many other things as well. It's just it's this channel as well. So it's basically the parent company. It owns a lot of things. Um, it owns also other secret projects that I have not been announced yet. You know, stay tuned mm-hmm. for that. And uh, that's basically what the Chatter Company is. Um, sometimes I make, I, I also make uh, artwork for Street Boys. I make artwork for uh, 
chat company as well. And, you know, I try to advertise, get people to know about Street Boys. We also have an Instagram of Street Boys. And, you know, we just try to get the word out there, you know, spread the love. The plugins <laughs> are real in yeah. this episode. Yeah. <laughs> no so that's basically what it dream. is. <laughs> um, so what, what were we talking about <laughs> that brought all this up? <laughs> Yo, your, uh, <laughs> what you've been doing in Queen Oh, yeah, what I've been doing. Okay, so yeah, I, uh, I was so that's what it is. So I've been working on a website that's related to Chat Company. You know, it's like a school project, but may, I'll share it around. Um, that's that's basically what I'm doing. And apart from that, I've just been playing a lot of Animal Crossing. And I'm trying to be, get that mm-hmm. item up. game. And you know, I've been really this is my first time playing Animal Crossing. I mean, I knew about Animal Crossing a long time ago, but uh, that's all I've been. I just like since the Switch came out, I now have the chance to play it. Mm-hmm. And you know I'm really liking it. I really enjoyed it. I've been addicted to it. Uh, really I've been adorable. Trying to, game. yeah, it's very fun. I think we all very have relaxing. It, what? We all mm. have it, and no one's invited me to the island. So I'm just like, I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, except Isaac, I have, he doesn't have, have it. <clears throat> yeah, I don't have it. It's kind oh, of I, thought you didn't. I played for a little bit, and then yeah. not that I didn't like it. It's just uh... it's not for you. No, I, not even. I just, <laughs> I just don't like it. No, it's just my sister. Leave me alone. Let me play. <laughs> so, I didn't, I didn't I, get to play. I played it for like a good two, three weeks, but then it kind of got a little repetitive for me. I'm not the most creative person either, so it's like the building. Yeah. I said it, so I kind of lost interest. Kind of went back to Smash. Focus on my Smash career, you know. Yeah, yeah, your uh, <laughs> your your well known Smash career. Oh yeah, definitely. Can we can we talk about Marcus's uh like uprising in Smash Brothers? Oh yeah, it's yeah. it's I describe it as phenomenal. It's I mean it's, he's okay a, he's yeah. a prodigy. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna mention this. Okay, we, we, uh, related to this, uh, guys, please stop. We. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it coming, keep it coming. <laughs> we, uh, before this, uh, a, long, a long while ago, last year, we were planning on, uh, me and Isaac, we were planning on making a uh, Marcus documentary about his uprising leading up to a tournament that was being held by uh, a couple friends from up north of Houston. And we, uh, we just been trying to, like, figure out, like, when to record it, wh- where to record it, and record marcus as like a, a noob in smash to being <laughs> big a noob. big a big top player That's winning tournaments story. yeah winning tournaments sma- uh breaking and breaking Records. hands now and you know crushing dreams and like- irl he breaks irl hands <laughs> <laughs> That's how I win. you know what he does is like uh yeah that's how you win so you just like you just, all you do is like you smash opponent yeah, he basically like, no, before he, the <laughs> he, he physically and mentally <laughs> handicaps his opponents. <laughs> he he brings a hammer with him. He's known as uh, Hammer Marcus. Whatever it takes, man. To win. <laughs> <laughs> so he brings a hammer and then he just like before he keeps it in his pocket. The hammer is very small, oh so God, he he, no. he keeps it in his pocket and then. And I remember him doing this at the tournament. It was crazy. I don't like this convo anymore. This conversation. <laughs> and he, you know, he was going against like he was in the in the finals, and he you know, he was nervous. He was sweaty. Like he was going crazy out of his mind, wondering if he's gonna win or not. So what he does is that instead of like a normal human being, instead of shaking their hands, he he says, "Hey, uh, look at me," and then you know they turn around and look at him. And he, and he in quick like it's fast like he does this quick like lighting speed like i almost missed it but like he he pulled out his hammer and just smashed that hand and they, they, they were sure? screaming so i remember it i recorded I it I have there. Proof. is this how it went down yeah, okay, I mean, so the hospital came. Uh, I, Isaac was commentating. He was there. He um, it all. Yeah, I was commentating the grand finals and semifinal, uh, all all of like the final part of the tournament. And uh, I can say, I mean, there's there's a there's a point where they're playing, 
and then they just kind of <laughs> didn't play as good. I don't know, man. And <laughs> after game one, it was kind of like uh, their hands were kind of like I don't know. They <laughs> deformed and bloody, huh? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I can check the recordings. Hands. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty uh, sure I saw something. Change the subject. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I mean, like, like, bro, he's like Marcus. He walks up to them, and before he does that, he's like, "Break a leg." <laughs> he literally breaks their leg. Or break bro. a hand. He, he says, break, break a leg. Them, and then and he throws them off by saying that. It breaks their hand. <laughs> Why y'all do this to me? Oh my gosh. But uh, apart from that amazing story that, uh, you know, that, that it sure really was a night to remember. I mean, especially for it. those people that went against Marcus. We got to get that documentary out soon. There was this documentary that we were planning on making. And... Um, it was going to be posted here on this channel, Can't but there were some problems with it and we didn't get to record everything we wanted to. And we kind of lost steam of making it. So it kind of, kind of got scrapped. So, uh, hopefully maybe in the future, maybe we can bring it back up. I don't know, but yeah. or the next tournament, we'll see what revival happens. too. Revival yeah, 2020. Went, yeah. Next tournament. We'll see what happens. Let's see if the washed, uh, the washed gets oh, revived. I'm so no, but I mean, no, but no, I mean, not gonna lie, it was like uh, South Side shut up, and we kind, of, they kind of just but North Side just kind of melted. North Side free. Not gonna. I mean, Marcus <laughs> in the tournament, Marcus sh showed up, and he won all three events: uh, doubles, oh, crews, yeah. and singles. Right. Yeah, we there was a crew battle. It was Zach's team versus Bryce's team. One lives in spring. One lives in. Oh, I forget what Kingwood, and I helped with Kingwood's team, and we won. And then we did doubles. Me and Zach won that from losers bracket all the way, lost first round, and went all through losers bracket and won it. And then singles, I didn't go in losers. It was, I gotta say, it was epic. Like me, Isaac, Nick, and it's so we like showed up. Ethan too. We showed up and we just destroyed. Yeah. Yeah, I, I surprisingly landed in, I think, like, fifth place, like, in yeah, singles good, yeah. out of all 50. And then, got like, fourth I'm... in doubles. We got fourth yeah. in doubles. We got, yeah, we, we got actually, we got uh, kicked out by you and Zach. Oh, so it took it yeah. took someone from South to kick us out. Our, <laughs> our own, uh, our own uh, blood. Team kill. Oh. We, we, took, we took the L. We took the L for, to get the dub. Always yeah. Remembered. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But, you know, surprisingly, Marcus just, like, took out everybody. And he won first place. Yeah. yeah. It, was, it was pretty epic. What a beast. Good time. You won what that uh, trophy, right? I did. Do you have it with you? It's in my room. I'll go get in a little bit, maybe. Then someone's okay. talking. But, but um, uh, yeah, so that was pretty much the scrap documentary project that we were planning on making. But yeah. hopefully... Maybe in the future we can do it again or not. I don't know. After Crone is over, we can all hang out and do yeah. some projects. And, and speaking yeah. of like uh, hanging out, the, I also had an idea for like Street Boys, related to Street Boys, uh, a music video. Oh. Uh, for one of the songs. Oh. Uh, for a Parking Spot. <gasps> Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Okay. And okay. Okay. I'm, I'm releasing this information now because I don't know when we'll be able to record it because, you know, we can't really go out that much world premiere right here yeah no, no, it, world a world teaser announcement <laughs> and it, it's just like a like a full-on music video low budget you know obviously high budget. and um high budget <laughs> high budget high Highest. budget i mean we're talking about <laughs> high high budget. Here. that's true uh i mean they told me to say tech company told me to say uh you know low budget to seem more humble but we already know that you know, they provide <laughs> billions of dollars. <laughs> it's just, it's just oh. so we can flex on everyone. Be like, oh, this is, oh, this is really ain't that much. You know, this is kind of poor people video. And then we show up with <laughs> <laughs> the, the, video, the right. music video. We show how much money we actually spent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nine billion dollars. <laughs> the video and everything is low budget because we saved all the money to flex it on the video. Exactly. We took it out in cash. To show Nine billion dollars was just uh, just to look for the location. The rest of the money 
was on setup, which was like uh, five, ten five. Google Plex <laughs> amount of money, and then uh, <laughs> uh, four quadrillion dollars to get the Street Boys to be there. I like how we have to pay the Street Boys to be there, but it's the Jack <laughs> Company. <laughs> I mean, you know, we gotta make that money somehow. Yeah, I mean, even though it's gonna... basically just recycling money, because it's, it's gonna go back anyway. Yeah, so we're not really spending special it. Special guests for is, your is that not fraudulent? I don't know. Maybe. Don't tell the IRS. I'll tell you that. <laughs> what? <laughs> don't tell them. Don't tell them. Don't tell the like, IRS or like, BTS. It's like. It's, <laughs> it's like. It's like. The iris gets gets a word of this, you will say no more words. That's all I have to say. You lost your word privileges. <laughs> Podcast cancelled. Oh man. Life cancelled. Okay, so uh you know it's not, since we already mentioned quarantine, uh what have y'all been wanting to do after the quarantine is over? Like what's the first thing y'all wanna do? We haven't really been able to do much. Ema. Oh, how I want to go back to Kima. It's been like forever. You want to go back to Kima? Yeah. I don't know why. I've been just craving riding roller coasters. It's been so long. Like, I mean, that's what you're Dude, when I went, <clears throat> when I went to, to Kima the other time with y'all, um, bro, that was, that was really epic. Cause I tried out like some rides for the first time mm-hmm. that I was too scared to try. You were and I tried them and it was scared. I was so scared, dude, but I tried them. And they were so epic, bro. Yeah. I, I, I think that's where... Uh, it wasn't... I think it... No, yeah, it was Kima. Uh, when I first went to Kima, like, for the first time, I remember... Like, I was always afraid of, like, riding roller coasters and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And then I was, like... I don't remember how old I was. I think I was, like, maybe 13? Maybe. Around there. And I was, like, you know what? Uh, let me face my fears. And the reason I wanted to do it was because I, it was because like, uh, I remember watching on TV or someone like face your fears, this and that, and you know I was like, <laughs> uh, like inspirational. Yeah, like it inspired me. So it's like you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. And then, uh, and I did. And I don't remember what the roller coaster was called, but it was the one where like I think it was shark themed, where it just like went up, 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 and it's just like a drop. Mm. And it's it's short, it's small, mm. but I remember riding it, and. I was like, I was scared out of my mind. I, I was like, when 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 I was going like to that ninety degree, like when it was going up and up and up, I I was just terrified, and <laughs> I even prayed. <laughs> I was like, like oh my god, please nothing happened, and and uh, and this was like a school field trip. And, and all the like the I, other kids were like, oh let's do it, let's do it, let's do it, and I, I, I wasn't peer pressure one... to do it. And, I think this like one decision. was a kitty ride, though, no? Oh, <laughs> it's like only ten feet tall. <laughs> ten feet, yeah. <laughs> but it he's was like, like... He's like I can see the curvature of the earth. <laughs> <laughs> I can see the horizon. <laughs> but like, um, it, it, it was like, I, I was like so scared until like you know I got to the to the tipping point to the top, and then the drop happened, and the drop lasts like. You know really fast i don't know like five seconds maybe but it's like it's high so uh i remember like i i screamed like i screamed at the top of my lungs and i don't remember who i was riding with but i'm sure that i like probably like <laughs> made them deaf or something because that was like the most screaming i've ever done and and like it was going like fast fast and fast and once like the ride was over because i think the ride lasts like maybe like a minute or 30 seconds, something like that. It's very short. And uh, after that ride was done, I was I was like, man, that was actually kind of fun. <laughs> and uh, I, I wrote it again. And then after the thing, I wrote it again, I wrote it again, I wrote it again, like maybe like five times throughout the whole field trip. It's always that first ride that's always the scariest. Because I think even yeah. with you, Oscar, like the circle one. That yeah, was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I do not want to try that one. Dude, someone. I think dude, it's fainted, not though. that bad, bro. I, dude, I was so scared, and then I just remember I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna do it, cause first of all, I don't wanna. <laughs> I was a little 
I was a little scared that other people would be like, bro, why wouldn't you ride it? But, but like, so I tried it. And one thing that I really don't like about, like, rides and stuff like that is that that weird feeling you get in your stomach during all the drops and stuff. And so whenever that was happening, it happened for, like, two seconds. And then it went away because you're literally just spinning. And so, like, it was so epic. Like, I loved it. And I wrote it, like, two more times, I think. It was really at least, epic. At least you didn't faint like that one friend. Remember they fainted <laughs> on the first go? Oh my god. Oh, who was it? It was one of those, one of the girls. I don't remember her name. Dude, that was so funny though. That was hilarious. It <laughs> was like, not funny. It was like, I truly. Like, <laughs> well, kind of. <laughs> no, uh, my experience with roller coasters and all that is I do not get on them. I do not get on. I don't care. I don't care what people say. I don't. I do not care. I've I've written most of the rides on Kima so that just like to confirm to myself that I do not like it. <laughs> I do not like it. I don't. I don't like how it feels. I don't like that I'm paying to feel bad. I don't care if people like. I don't care. I'm the guy who holds all the stuff. For the people who don't want to bring their glasses and their phones <laughs> into the ride, and I don't mind, I have fun still, but I just I don't want to get on nothing, nothing. I don't. I, don't like I should have asked you to put my glasses, because remember my glasses broke. Someone like yeah. pushed them off. I should have asked you. Sorry about that. And not even the boardwalk bullet. That one's fun. No. Uh, I, I was always afraid of doing that because it's made. Everything is made out of wood. So it I, is. And, it increases. Yeah, it's dude. old. It's so it's like, why do I want to ride that? It looks like it's gonna about to like crumble down and kill everybody. That's how. <laughs> well, okay, that last part's not hype, but. <laughs> I die. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it looks terrifying. That's the only one I do not want to do. I haven't done it every single ride, but it like that is one I do not want to do. Cause that that looks terrifying. Uh, I mean, it, it doesn't have like any steep drops or anything. Like, it looks just like a standard roller coaster from the outside. But, you know, knowing that it's made out of wood and it's very old, it just looks like it's about to like crumble and just like, uh, you know, uh, fall down and destroy itself. Because I remember this one time, uh, the rodeo, and, uh, and this freaked me out, but uh, this one time, there's like, you know, like rodeos have like super small roller coasters. It's like, it's nothing, it's like nothing like br to brag about or something like that. Yeah, like, it's yeah, just yeah. something to have fun. Um, I don't remember the name of this roller coaster, but I think this happened in 2015, I think. I don't remember. But there, I rode this roller coaster and, you know, it, it's like, it, it was nice. It was fun. It was, it's, it's just like a little kitty ride, a uh, big kitty ride for big boys <laughs> like me oh and uh i remember like after that and then we went home i mean I, after we did everything else we went home and i remember seeing like on the news that, that same ride that same day that same ride after i rewrote it um uh, around like an hour later because they, they mentioned the time i think they said like at five because i left like around like four and that roller coaster was the last ride I've ridden. But after that ride was over and we went home and I checked on the news, uh, an old lady died on that same roller coaster. Which like she like, bro. attack or like the ride messed up? Uh, she, she fell and died. Oh. That's and bro. I don't know what happened. Like, was there like. That's pretty hype. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not supporting that. I'm not oh working you there. I'll carry on. <laughs> but that that old lady died and i don't know uh i don't remember how she looked like but she uh she died like they said because she, she slipped out or something oh. and i don't know how she slipped out because you're not going through a loop-de-loop -loop. you're not going through no like curve thing like it's just all like straight and like look a little hills but it's like how did you slip out of that and die like uh but rodeo i would say rodeo <laughs> Like rides, oh my gosh, Oscar. I would say rodeo rides are like not the most reliable. I would be careful on those because those are just because they pack them up and go, like they move them everywhere. So it's just, yeah, I don't... Like, I even so seen... fun. <laughs> no, 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 no. The funny thing is that, is that Nick is like, 
Why would you die in that? <laughs> <laughs> like Why would judging, you do that? Don't judging, die, duh. Judging, judging the lady for dying, bro. Like, bro, that's so beta. Why would you die there? <laughs> hey, uh, hey, but for I gotta go. Really you gotta go? Yeah, because the meeting starts in like eight minutes, bro. Oh my gosh, get ready, okay. dude. Yeah. <laughs> thanks for tuning in, though. Well, thanks for tuning in, Oscar. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks for joining. Uh, no, I am part of this. I'm no. not joining anything. <laughs> yeah, you're part of this. Thanks for joining us. No. <laughs> no, 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 yeah. But yeah, it was epic. I gotta go though. So. I right, see you. Take care. I love the fans. Thank you for for giving. <laughs> for the for the five okay. fans that care about this. <laughs> Bruh. Bye. Okay. See I'll you. see you later. Bye. Bye. I'm gonna do it. Oh, there you go. Finally, he's gone. Right. Oh, All right, no. now we can talk trash about Oscar. All right, now we can talk about real good stuff. Oh, like nah. now that the kid real is gone, stuff, like, us adults it, can talk. Is it <laughs> put on a pair of, of of pants or put on pants? Okay. <laughs> what? Put, put put on pants or put on a pair of pants. Which one is it? It's just put on pants. I don't but, understand the concept people, of Some people pair. say put on a pair of pants. I don't understand why people say But that. they, they say put on a pair two. of pants. That means that you, you got to put two pants on, doesn't it? Because a pair is two. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I get that. But like, is it is it a pair of pants? Because each like each like tube is a pant. And so oh. it's pants. And so when you say you put on a pair of pants, you're putting on both two, like uh, both uh uh, the, but put on two, put on a pair of two leg things? tubes. Is that is that what they mean? A pair of pants? Because like when they say put on the the your shoes, your, your pair of sh- it's a pair of shoes because it's two shoes. Because two shoes, you know, and it's a pair of shoes. Yeah, because it's two, but you're not but wearing sh- two a pants. A shirt, a shirt has three holes. So why isn't it like wait? No, no. Put, I, put a- <laughs> I had no idea where I was going. That's, that's already a rabbit hole right there. <laughs> It's three holes, actually. That's what I think. Actually, no, it's four oh, holes. Oh, four. Yeah, you got the oh, you got yeah. the one where you put your neck, the two the two on the side, and the one on the bottom. That is true. So it's four yeah. holes. Now, if you want to get four. technical, maybe there's like millions of holes because you know the stitching. So there's always holes Ga- in it. Camiseta. Okay, what? Camiseta. Camisa. Yeah. No, it's camisa. That's what I think. Camisa. Oh, okay. Or camiseta. That's cheap. <laughs> What? <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? No, no, no. You did good. You did good. You did good. Oh, I know you've been practicing yeah. Spanish, so you've been doing good. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, what about you? So, we've been talking about roller coasters, about what Marcus wanted to do uh, after this whole quarantine ended. What about you, Isaac? Me? What do you want to do? I don't know. I, I really, I, since I've been playing the drums and, and the guitar, I feel like. I'm at a point where I can play with other people. I really want to test that out, see if I can actually play with people. Uh, the other problem was would be to find people who I c- who play that I could play with. You know, um, uh, go back to college. <laughs> I'm just not doing anything. Get a job. I want to get a job. I want to get money. Uh, where, yeah. would you, where would you want to work? I want to. I am an IT guy. So I want to do that. I want to get the job that I was going for in Deer mm-hmm. Park. Um, the uh, the IT. Okay. I remember you mentioning job. that. Yeah. Okay. Well, soon. I don't know. Be- well, for me, uh, I already mentioned like one of the things I want to do. You know, like the music video. But uh, I mean, yeah, it's kind of the same thing here. Uh, I don't really know. I mean, there's a lot of things I want to do. I want to like start hanging. I want to like. You know, get back to hanging out because you know the social distancing so we can um uh, i want to make like go back and get together make more music i want to oh, um same thing like uh, no, that's pretty much it just get to get, get the, we haven't been able to do much so we've just, just been stuck here at home the boys that's all yeah I yeah you open, with the boys open a cold one with the boys a yeah, a cold, a cold uh, can of of Coke and Sprite yeah. or something. Yeah, definitely. 
I've been mad. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much it. That's what I, what I wanted to like, uh, what I can think of to do uh, for this uh, after the pandemic. But I don't think it's gonna like go over soon. I mean, we st- we still have like it's still growing, um, and there's no reason to panic. You know, it's just like more people just like stay in- indoors and social distance. Not like here. Uh, I remember in Texas, they reopened the stores and everything. And it, they said that um, on the news that the day it opened, everything reopened, the amount of cases like skyrocketed the day it opened because uh, more people got close to, get to each other and got more sick. Yeah. So I like if people just like stay inside or at least try to social distance, wear your mask, you know, wash your hands and all that. Uh, you know, maybe this whole thing can go blow over quicker. For us introverts, this is just easy. This is any other day. Yeah, pretty, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> but yeah, they open like fifty percent occupancy now in restaurants. So that's I don't know if I'm ready to eat at restaurants though. Although I was really tempted to go to House of Pies yesterday. Yeah. I miss what? I miss I miss eating at places. Me too. Before I mean before the whole quarantine, eating at places was a treat. Yeah, it was something you didn't do. I, I at least I didn't do often. But now it, before it was kind of like uh, you know I can't always have it. But now uh, I, I mean until recently it was something that I can't have. Mm-hmm. So I've been eating a lot of stuff here at home. Not that home food is bad or anything, but like sometimes you just want you just want my mom's a, cooking is tough. Your mom cook. You just want a burger or something. I don't know. Sometimes <laughs> know. you just want a burger. So, uh, but now I can't. I don't. I don't. I. I. I can't have it. It's it makes like me sad. I. I live right next to that place and and diners. Yeah. <laughs> I'm man uh, diners. I. Got so I many love, stomach aches from that. I love Niners, is, uh, but it's like a fifty percent chance that I'm gonna get sick or not. I don't know why. It's just that place in particular is just. Yeah. Like you, me, and you got sick there, Nick, right? <laughs> yeah, we ate there once, and the next day we both got sick. Yeah. I ate there once, and I got sick too. But we keep coming now, back now to I'll, it for some reason. Yeah. Now I'll be happy to go there and get sick as long as I can eat with my friends. Yes, get a stomach ache and the virus. Instead of food poisoning, you just get corona. The burger was <laughs> nice. good. The burgers are good. The burger was good. Yeah, the burgers are really good. They it's got just for big, some reason like big burgers. Yeah, they do, and, it, and it's not even that expensive either. Yeah, it's really cheap. I mean, that's probably why we get sick, but <laughs> 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 but I mean, um, who knows? Yeah, I miss Red Robin. Uh, that's the best burger place. Burger there. Look- so many different burgers, so many. Oh, it's so good. Yeah. Man, is, I mean, it, is it? Is it? Where is would it? you go for burgers then? I'd, I'd go to House of Pies. It's good. Actually, House of Pies, yeah. They do have good burgers. I never tried the burgers until I went with you, and the they're really were... good. But I yeah. still, I'm, I'm like, I used to have this like quest to find the best burger place until like. I got like, I went to the doctor. Doctor was like, you can't be in only that. So, yeah, <laughs> chill. Uh, but that was my thing. Like, I, I would look for burger places, and uh, and I don't. I want to find that burger that when I eat it, I'm like, this is this is it. This is the burger that. This is it. This is the this is the the promised burger that I've been looking for. And so far, not. Nah, it hasn't like, happened. Yeah, I've had you interesting like, stuff. Ha- mm. So what would? So you say like House of Pies? You know it could get better than that. But for now, that's like the placeholder you were saying. Or what would you say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's what I think. Uh, so um, I know there's better. There's some place out there better. Here. There's. I mean, I mean, Houston is the fourth largest city in the U.S. There's gotta be an amazing burger place that is just, that melts your mouth. But but so far, I've first I don't have the money probably, and secondly <laughs> I just I I am I don't feel like going all the way 
to the other side of town or downtown every day or every other day to find it. What we should do is, uh, uh, for anybody who's who knows any really good burger places or something like that, uh, say in the comments. But one of, <laughs> <laughs> one of my uh, favorite uh, restaurants here in Houston, um, I haven't tried their burgers, but I always get the chicken sandwich, real chicken sandwiches at Barnaby's. That place, and with the honey mustard and lem- best honey mustard, lemonade, and and uh, fries, a little, uh, probably a little bit better than, uh, uh, I mean, like top tier with uh, Chick Fil A fries. But um, Barnaby is just Barnaby's is really good. The, I, I, I don't know, it's like a, it's really good. It's the best chicken, real chicken I've ever eaten from there. And I have to look that up. Is that like in downtown or is it like? Yeah, it's in downtown. There's like, uh, I think there's only two restaurants. That place looks but good. It's I mean, oh, not, really yeah, good. And we, we, whenever this whole thing blows over, that's the first thing we should do. It's go eat at Barnaby's. I just looked it up and it seems that it burned down. What? <laughs> it, it burned seems down? That it burned down, yeah. I search up Barbies and all I see is like <laughs> not <gold> Barbies, <laughs> no Barnabies. <laughs> Look, I'll oh, send Barnabies. you. Oh my God, I'll send you a, a picture. I mean, they're doing takeout, but, on, but what on, do you mean uh, burned down? Look, let me uh, search this up. You're gonna have to Hold DM on. DM Look. me that. I can't find it. Look, oh, I'll just put it here. Um, look. Oh That's my gosh. <gasps> I, I, I'll put this in the. In the, I'll put this image in the podcast when I go edit it. <laughs> it's just, but, it looks like it just burned. Right. I, it, but I don't know if it's still like that. Maybe they fixed it or whatever. No, that I, I've never burned. eaten that Barnaby's no, it's at that still location. Still on fire to this day. <laughs> it is constantly on fire. Yeah, that's what makes it so good. Yeah, but it's it's really good. I know, like the the theme of it is, uh, um, I is. Like they're, I, I think the dog's name is also Barnaby's or Barnaby and uh, it's based off of that dog. And then like one of them, you can like actually bring your dogs in oh, to eat kinda, with, yeah. like outside or something. But um, they, uh, the owner, he, he based it off his dog. So you see like drawings of his dog, you see pictures of his dog and it's a real cute poodle. And, uh, but I highly recommend uh, that restaurant uh, if y'all ever get the chance either just take out dine. i mean i don't think they're doing dine-in but for takeout i highly recommend it that's like the top of my list of one of my favorite restaurants i've ever been to i'll, I'll definitely check it out there's this place in in uh I, it's the north part of houston somewhere um i don't remember where but it's 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 called something like uh, sam's fried chicken and and donuts Freddy's fried chicken and donuts something like that but but they make fried chicken and they make donuts and they make donut chicken sandwiches donut sandwiches yes donut chicken that sounds like a heart attack and (laughs) like like instead of bread they use donuts yes basically wasn't what the kfc did or something like that i don't know yeah but i mean it's better because it's like home like it's home style donuts you know i mean it was making it healthier but i i mean i'm not talking about healthy we're talking about good yeah okay i mean that's why the doctor said what he said (laughs) (laughs) you ate one of those and it just ruined your whole health career no i ate okay so five years of your life that place was amazing when i went there i went there by accident because i was looking for a place to go and it looked like a weird place i was like uh, fried chicken and donuts I mean some other person probably hears this and is like of course fried chicken you've never heard but like for me that was new I didn't I didn't know anything you know, fried chicken and donuts doesn't doesn't uh, I don't know um, but I was like let's try it out I mean if I can eat donuts that's cool and ch- fried chicken is cool too and and we went I went I was with some other people we went and we thought it was gonna be like 10 minutes away but I, w- I was following someone in my car and he just kept driving <laughs> and driving and he got on 45 like where, where are we going we get on 45 
we pass downtown and then we get off uh passing downtown and he keeps driving and dri i was like where is this man taking me he's probably taking it to he's, the middle of nowhere he's like, like he's gonna <laughs> he's gonna stop the car in a one-way street and just come out and he's gonna you know <laughs> but then we show up at this place and it's 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 uh it's somewhere up north i don't know it's it's a small place it, it, it's like the size of a it was small it was it, it was like an apartment almost no a bit, a bit bigger uh, it, it's a small a small it's pretty small uh, it's like, like a little a small, mini cafe or something like a small yeah like a, imagine a mini cafe the ones that like really or like owned, a fast food restaurant like really? a like a family-owned thing and okay. we get there i order a a i was like a donut fried chicken sandwich i was like dope i'll get that yeah. Uh, and I get that, and I order like uh, it was like Sam's heartburn something. Oh my god! But it, oh basically, god. it was like <laughs> it was a it was a it was a really spicy chicken sandwich. And and I get that, and I get the donut uh, chicken sandwich. And we're waiting, and it was oh my god, it was so cold, and the seats were out of were made out of metal. It was metal. Um, what are, what are those called? The were bunks, right? Bunks where you sit, and bench benches. Oh okay, yeah. Uh, uh, bench style seats. Uh, I forgot the name. Booth. Anyways, booth. Yeah. Booth. Yeah, booth. Uh, they had metal boots. Everything was metal, and it was so cold, and and the doors were <laughs> thin, and I was freezing, and and they were taking so long. But when when we finally get our donuts, well, first of all, they're like, uh, Isaac, uh, uh your order's ready. Okay, I go, and they only give me half, half my order. They give me a donut, chicken sandwich. I'm still missing Sam's heartburn, whatever thing. And so I go back and I'm like, I'm gonna hold on to this and I wanna eat it with the other thing. But the chicken was so warm. It was so what? It was warm. Because oh, it was, was so warm. cold and I was like Ugh. the spiciness warmed you up. No, it was a uh, the normal fried chicken oh, yeah. donut. <laughs> um and they call me back again and they give me a full order of so they give me another chicken sand another donut chicken sandwich and they give me the Sam's heart attack thing. So I get two uh, two sandwiches, and the uh, the 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 other one, the Sam Sarpin thing. The chicken sandwich was really really good, really really good. Mm -hmm. I didn't I didn't get to eat the the Heartburn one until I got home. And and when we got there, they're close to closing. So one of the workers was like cleaning up the bench, the benches and like seats and stuff. And he turns around and he says to us, um, when you guys leave, remember to tell me. So, uh, well, I mean, you guys like donuts, right? Yeah, sure. Okay, just t remind me when you guys leave. And he goes in. He goes back into the kitchen or whatever. And so we're eating and we finish. Everything was super good. Everything was really good. I really recommend it. It was it, the, the chicken was crunchy and juicy and the donut was homemade. And it was just, it, it looked like it was just made. Everything was great. It was great, 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 great. When we go out to leave, we're like, okay, bye, we're leaving. He's like, oh, wait, 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 you don't want, the, you don't want donuts? And I said, yeah, we want donuts. And they have a shelf of donuts, a, like display, and they're like, like Oreo donuts. And like, uh, like different, like really nice donuts. It's not like, like the Shipley ones. It's mm -hmm. like gourmet donut, like really nice donuts. And he just starts grabbing the whole shelf of donuts and putting it in boxes. Oh. And he's like, here, you guys, you, you guys can keep it. Dang. What? And so that day I got two free sandwiches and a box of donuts for free. Dang. And that was awesome. Wait, what is this place called? I gotta look this up. What was the place thing called? It was like Sam's Fried Chicken and Donuts. Oh, I see it right here. That's that. Yeah, is it called that? No, that that place is too big. Maybe permanently Sam. closed. No. Oh, 601 Heights Boulevard. 
permanently closed. What happened? It got burned down. <laughs> <laughs> it meet it meet the same fate. Yeah. Okay. So oh, yeah. I'm seeing a lot of uh, uh, a lot of I guess a lot of them just like seem to be just like sandwiches, but like oh, like you said, good. a donut sandwich with chicken in the middle. Oh, it does look pretty interesting. It was really oh my good. God, like looking at the pictures. Oh, like I, I usually don't find I usually don't find this like appetizing. Like, you know, using a donut as, like, bread and the chicken. Yeah, me neither. But, man, um, I'm seeing, like, this right one now. photo. I don't know what it is, but it's, like, it's too, like, this looks, like, super greasy. Uh, I'll try, I'll see, I'll, I'll put, I'll put, I'll put the picture in the, I'll put the picture up right now uh, when I go edit this. But it's this, like, uh, it's two donuts. And it's like I don't know what that is. I don't know if that's like jam. Oh my gosh! What and is that? Bacon or something? It's like chicken. That was that was another one that had special sauce or something. Here's a, oh, here's I'm another one another that oh I that that looked more like the the one sandwich I got. Yeah. No, it says as of March 9, it is closed. Yeah, I saw that. That's that's sad. It was a good place. It was a good place. It's like a, a great version of McDonald's, kind of. Like I guess like the color scheme. I don't know. Yeah, that's the picture I saw. Oh, I guess we're looking at the same article I did. Yeah. Yeah. He's gonna still find it. Oh, that's sad. Yeah. It that was sucks. really good. It F was really in the good. Chat. Oh, you know what? It's that time. How about we, uh, for those people to who've been waiting to listen to that sneak peek of Street Boys, what song should we play? Okay. Which one? Do you want, it, do you want... It, it'll be like for like 30 seconds, a sneak peek. Okay, what's... The, uh... the best seller would be broccoli, without a doubt. But that's like... But we are talking about chicken, so maybe tenders? Tenders? Mm. Which part is tenders, though? Which um... Part? When, like, the wrapping part at the end? Or, like... Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I think uh, let me see. would still be the best seller. Okay, so, so you y'all said tenders then? Uh, I think broccoli, broccoli or part. Actually, broccoli or parsley. Okay, both uh, the uh, okay. We'll so which, <laughs> let's choose part uh, parking spot or broccoli, and y'all make paper rock scissors. Whoever which one, whoever wins. All right, what do you want for? Uh, I gotta I gotta go broccoli because it's my favorite song. It's my favorite song since release. You know what? I'll just I'll back up broccoli. I feel like, yeah, broccoli is a good one. Can you put okay. that part where it's like, my brother said that, the, I said no. I want to. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, let me find that it real part. quick and see. Uh... That's, that's the best line. No, the best line is, um, I can't take losing a Fortnite. I can't take that cat. <laughs> um, actually, one. Actu actually, hold on. I have it on my computer. It would sound more like nicer. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, so Isaac's just gonna play since he already has it ready. So Isaac, go ahead. Okay, ready? One, two, three. My mom was really keen. That her room was very clean. My brother said that was dope. I said, no, I want to eat some antelope. I'm just really trying to cope while I sip some coke. Uh, so this has been my story. I had to say it. Everyone knows that I really. Eat your broccoli. Eat your broccoli. Eat your broccoli. Eat your broccoli. Okay, that's it. That's all oh you get. The, wow, this that was... was amazing. Me and Nick totally heard that. Yeah, we, we <laughs> totally heard it. We listened to those thirty seconds. I heard it, and I was grooving. It's a, it's, I can't, oh my God. You sure we're it's da dancing. The, it's the best song in the, in the whole album. But I mean it's like, okay, song. so this one was recorded like in 2017. That yes, song. this, this was recorded like three years ago. <laughs> yeah. So the quality is much lower than the newer ones. But like, uh, this, this, uh, this album, just for those who like listen to it and they're like, oh my God, this and that. 
Uh, this is actually like a the a volume one is more like a joke album. Like it's more like comedy. No, no one in the world just heard that and said, "Oh my god, what is?" They said, "Oh no, my no, god, no, no!" I mean, like when they hear like the rest of the song. Copy. When they re- when they hear the rest of the other songs, because there's some like other ones that are like obviously jokes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, the the whole album volume one is like the idea was to make, just to have fun with it, just to, uh, you know, make uh, jokey types, uh, rap songs or something like that, like making fun of mumble rap, <laughs> and that's pretty much the premise of it. But yeah, we enjoyed making that album. So hey, so now y'all heard it. So y'all heard. Full uh, thirty seconds of broccoli. And if you didn't like it, I chose that part. So <laughs> there's <laughs> other there's other great stuff you can quote off of this album. I mean, if they didn't like it, they're wrong. They're know? wrong. That, <laughs> they're simple, wrong. They're just wrong. They're just wrong. They're, they're wrong. <laughs> I've heard. I don't know how many. Do I don't know how many times I've heard this album, <laughs> but every time I hear it, it gets better. Every time I get in the car. <laughs> you do blast it in your car though. Yeah. You do I'm gonna be time. honest, I do have the bass on negative nine when I listen to it. Because <laughs> the bass is so loud. <laughs> but it's not the full experience. You gotta listen to it. Full bass. That's nice. So uh what else? What else do we should um, we talk about? I'm there's some to go in five minutes. So. Okay. Alright, so let's just end it here then. Yeah. All right, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this part in. Like whatever. <laughs> <laughs> whatever, <laughs> whatever. Less editing, I guess. All right then. So, well, thank y'all for joining our first ever episode of the Nameless Podcast. Until we come up with a name. Thank but you. right now, it'll just be known as the Nameless Podcast. Yeah. Thank, thank you uh, for inviting me. It was yeah. I've never been part of a podcast before. Me neither. I remember we did a tier list before, but this is like completely different. Yeah, I mean, for you two, this is the first time. Yeah. So, uh, so you know, it was me, uh, Nicholas, uh, main host, I guess. And then the Isaac, thank you for joining. And Marcus, thank you for joining as well. Uh, Oscar, who sadly, unfortunately, left uh, earlier. But I'm glad that he was here, too. And hopefully y'all enjoyed his commentary. So uh, I don't know when we'll make a second episode maybe like sometime later on but if y'all like it uh if y'all like you know this podcast don't worry the other li- podcasts aren't going to replace like the live action videos or the two second animations that i keep posting <laughs> um don't worry that's not gonna replace any of that this is just like a side thing and if y'all like it let us know in the comments below so yeah thank y'all for joining and we really enjoy talking uh, yeah. It went by quick. Yeah. It, it didn't feel fast. like an hour. Uh, at least to us, it felt like an hour. Probably like in editing, it'll probably be like 50 minutes total or something like that. Yeah. But <clears throat> yeah, thanks. Thanks everybody for joining. And uh, I, I want to I wanna leave off with a joke. A really oh, no. good joke. Okay. A, a joke that I've been thinking about. Okay. Oh, no. All right, here you go. So it starts off with um, me going to the store oh, it's gonna be a long joke <laughs> no 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 no. don't worry i mean going to the store i and i didn't come up with this joke but i was at the store i bought let's say like a loaf of bread and i go to the cashier and the cashier is like that would be 19 dollars 98 cents so i give him a 20 and i say and i say Keep the change.